Hey guys, I just want to take a quick look at this image. I've been requested by Robert Dodson to take a look at this trail cam photo. Now this is uh, this particular version is um, one that I've, uh, I've found on Facebook in a Facebook in one of my Facebook groups. So it's been shared with me by somebody who follows uh, Mr. Dodson quite quite a lot. Um, so then this is the best version that I could find so so this is the one we're going to use as we can see this is the the figure or figures in in question this kind of red brown um, color dark color really stands out in with the green and you know and the other colors uh, the first thing we need to look at really is um, is there anything similar to this uh, color, well, there is there is um, orange here, which could be a similar kind of um, foliage as this one, but it's it's I would say it's quite far off um, from this, and, and this one this color really stands out, um, you know, on its on its own, and I would say it's it is possible that it this is uh, something. So we're going to take a, a closer look. Okay, so we have a black and white, as you can see, version here. Some people prefer, um, they can s uh, actually see easier uh, with black and white for some reason. So that's why I did that uh, option as well. So as you can see, we have um, what looks like a head here, kind of a cone-shaped head. But um, when zooming in, you can kind of see that it's it's kind of doesn't look right, you know, really, and I think that could just be it could also it could just be with um, a distortion from the pixels, um, or it could just be that is the actual shape, not exactly that shape, but um, like here you can see that it's it's not so sharp, not because I've zoomed in, maybe, maybe that's why um, it's creating this kind of effect, this kind of distortion. Um, so it could actually be just a uh, kind of a cone-shaped head. Yeah, so if you try, if you know what I'm trying to say there. So let's, uh, let's move on and um, take some even closer um, stills. So one of the things that really stood out to me was this potentially uh, figure here, a head with eyes, two eyes. Um, pupils, you know, and possibly a brow ridge, or this could just be um, a stick. See, this is the the problem we have here. Um, but it still is possible that it could be uh, something. The same with these figures, also. As we can see, the image is actually quite blurry, and um, looks like there's a bit of um, motion motion blur there um, as well. So, even if this is an actual um, creature or Bigfoot, then it's going to be blurry, so we, we're not going to see a clear image. And you know, when even now I'm thinking, oh, that actually looks like um, a, a, a baby. You know, the head with the brow ridge and the the sort of V sort of hairline there. So that is, and and, and one here also. So there's no telling. I, I'm I'm not going to say no because. This could, they could possibly be, um, you know, could be something. And, and, and there's one there also, um, eyes, nose, mouth. Um, let's see if we can take a closer look again. Okay, so like I said before, this has this kind of distortion with the pixels here. So that doesn't mean that th this is the actual shape of the figure. So again, we have uh, eyes, nose, mouth. Well, you can see for yourself that that um, it, it could be something, especially this one here. When you look at that, um, this really does look like a head and eyes there, a really small one, and you have the shoulders there as well. So there's no there's no telling what's what in this situation really. Um, what is the if that is an um, a uh, juvenile and these are babies or if this is an adult or if this is an actual adult here as well it's 
it's really not um, conclusive, really. Like this could be something, it could be one here, and it could be um, eating something. Uh, I think I, I think I heard that they do actually eat bark from trees, so that could be the bark from the tree or some uh, kind of nuts or something like that. You, you just never know in this situation when looking at this. So you can't you can't also you, you can't just say no just because it doesn't look. Um, like an actual Bigfoot because we don't really know what they look like um, for sure and, and we know that they are um, individuals, they look different um, that's what I always like to think that you know humans also look different uh, each individual human also looks different so you know I would say the same um, goes for uh, Sasquatch and like I said earlier the image is not is not clear so we, we're not seeing in its in the, the clarity, the true clarity of this uh, this image. So in the end, uh, I'm gonna have to say that I, I can't, I, I don't really know uh, for sure. And like I say, and also you'll have this, um, you'll have people probably saying that um, there are other Bigfoots in the, in the image. That is also possible. I mean, it looks like there's one here. Um, it looks like there's one here, it appears to be. Whether that is or not, I don't know. Um, one here also. Let's see if I can get, just get closer. I'm not closer with that one. Just if you look here, like a cone-shaped head, um, eyes, nose, that kind of thing going on. So, you know, I I could probably find twenty to thirty other faces in this image. But the thing is, where do you where do you draw the line? I mean, especially that this is um, just a still image; it's not a video, so there's no movement. So the you cannot be sure unless you have a comparison shot, and there's no comparison shot here, as far as I know. So we we only have this particular photo to uh, to go by. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to say that I I I really don't know to be honest with you if this is an actual creature. Um, it, it looks good and it's uh, the color really stands out. But um, anyway, um, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys to, uh, uh, to decide. Thanks for watching.